Alright, today we're working on our Polaris snowmobile. This is a classic touring 500, essentially the Indy 500 touring. Um, it's 97 or 98, I believe. I believe the coil is going bad. And on these, the coil on CDI is one unit. So you have to replace the whole thing. Polaris has discontinued it, so the only option you have is aftermarket or used. But used at this vintage is a gamble because it's probably going to be bad as well. So we're going to be doing that right around 4,000 RPMs. The clutch starts to engage and then you give it a little more gas, it just breaks up. Going through the carbs. Got a new fuel pump on it. Definitely getting enough fuel. Put the choke on. It gets worse. So I know it's not a fuel issue. Um, everything's adjusted to spec pretty much. Took the filter out of the air box because that was deteriorating a little bit to eliminate that. So that's out of the picture. So we're gonna pop the coil in. And essentially, it's that screw there. Somebody's changed these. That screw, that, that bolt there, this plug on the harness, and this white plug. It's kind of yellowed, but it's white. We're gonna do that. We should just be able to come out without too much drama. I'm about to pop that off. So it's a closed loop on this one. Where is it? Oh no, it's not. Okay, so yeah, let's go ahead and, uh, we're gonna have to reuse the boots too. I forgot the new coil does not come with new boots. And ignore my sideways battery, it's a gel battery. I just had it in here for testing purposes. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, we got our new coil in. Got it mounted, got our spark plug boots on, the grommets. Put the wiring situated down there away from the pull start. Um, we're gonna hit the choke. Oh, oh, They put an LED headlight in it. I got LED marker lights for it too in the front. I didn't put them in yet though. Too. Won't be able to see it with the light on. 